In this third example of body plots, the function that we have is 1000 divided by s plus 10 times s plus 100. We want to draw the body plot of this function and also calculate the magnitude of this function at 10 radians per second. Let's just start by calculating the magnitude of the function at that frequency. We're going to start by replacing s with j omega. You now, because you're taking the magnitude in decibels, we can simply take 20 log of g of j omega, which will be 20 log of 1000 s j omega plus 10 j omega plus 100. This can all be split into three parts, one for each term. And to make things simpler, we can now move this j omega plus 10 and plus 100 upstairs so that the calculation will become a lot simpler. And when you do that, then this becomes now negative 20 log of that. So this is equal to 20 log of 1000 minus 20 log of j omega plus 10 minus 20 log of j omega plus 100. Now we need to take the magnitude of this function. The magnitude is simply the real part squared plus the imaginary part squared, square root of that. So the magnitude of g j omega is 20 log of 1000 minus 20 log of square root of imaginary part squared omega, not j omega, omega is the imaginary part plus 10 squared minus 20 log of square root of imaginary part omega squared plus real part squared 100 squared. So these are now functions of the frequency omega and basically this is what is displayed in a body plot. If you're now looking for the frequency of 10 radians per second, simply replace omega with 10 here, here, and here, and that will give the magnitude as negative 3.05 decibels. Now let's complete the body plot for this function. Looking at this function, we have basically three elements. We have a constant gain of one on the body plot that would be zero, so we can neglect that, 20 log of one is zero. And you have two real poles. These poles have one cutoff frequency each, one is at 10 radians per second, the other one is at 100 radians per second. What well, you now take the 20 log of that, we have 20 log of 1 plus 20 log of s over 10 plus 1 plus 20 log of s over 100 plus 1. This is 0, can be neglected, and you're left with two building blocks, two basically two real poles. Let's just start with the one that has a cutoff frequency at 10 radians per second, which is 10 to the power of 1 right here. If the cutoff frequency is 10 radians per second, that means that anything below 10 radians per second is 0. So the magnitude from 10 to the power of 0 to 10 to the power of 1 for this part of the, uh, of the body plot is 0. So from 1 to 10, the magnitude is 0. At 10, now we are at the cutoff frequency, and the magnitude goes down by 3 decibels. Let's neglect that for now, and we'll add it later. So let's assume that at 10, the magnitude is still 0. And past 10, and the magnitude will start to decay by 20 decibels per decade. So at 10 to the power of 2, at 100 radians per second, that is 10 times more than the current frequency, so we go down by 20 decibels. We should be around negative 20 decibels right there. If you now go to 1000 radians per second, the magnitude further decreases by 20 decibels. So at 1000, we should be around negative 40 dB. And this is the body plot for the real pole whose cutoff frequency is 10 radians per second. Now let's look at the other one at 100 radians per second. At 100 radians per second, the cutoff frequency is here, so anything below 100, you have a gain of 0 for a real pole. 
So from 0 to 100, the gain is 0. And at 100, now the Bode plot will start to decrease by a factor of 20 decibels per decade, which means that at 1000, 10 times 100, the gain should be around negative 20 dB. Again, I'm neglecting that a small difference at negative 3 decibels at each cutoff frequency. So in this case here, everything would be shifted down by 3 decibels. Here would be a negative 23, negative 43, and negative 23. For now, let's neglect that. Very well. Now what do we do? Now, based on these equations here, we can simply add these two up to find the body plot of G of S, to find the magnitude of G of S for various frequencies. So what do we do? From 0 to 10, we are at 0. At negative, at 10, exactly, we are, we are still at 0. At 10 to the power of 2, we have negative 20 plus 0, that is negative 20. So we are going to go down there. At 10 to the power of 2, we have negative 20 plus 0, so that is negative 20 right here. And now when we pass this cutoff frequency, there is another pole acting on this region here. So now from 10, to 100, this was going down by a factor of negative 20 decibels per decade, because we only had one pole acting there, but now past 100, we have another pole, and this slope now becomes negative 40 decibels per decade. And you can clearly see that, because at 1000, we have negative 40, negative 20, we are at negative 60, around here. And now you see that the slope changes, and the slope now becomes negative 40 decibels per decade. If we, if you're looking now at 10 to the power of 4, it would be easy to predict that the magnitude at 10 to the power of 4 would be negative 100 decibels per decade. Here we are at negative 60. 10 times the frequency now, we should go down by negative 40, and that is negative 100. Now let's look at the slopes. From 1 to 10, the slope is zero. It's simply a flat line because we haven't encountered any poles yet. At 10, we have one cutoff frequency from this pole here. Now the slope becomes negative 20 decibels per decade. And past 100, we now encounter a second pole. So now the slope will become negative 40 decibels per decade. And the slope is increasing. The body plot is decreasing faster. Now, going back to that a negative 3 decibels that we neglected, here at 0 would in fact be at a negative 3 dB because of this cutoff frequency. At this cutoff frequency, we have this negative 3 minus the negative 3 from this other pole at 100. So we would have to add negative 6, and indeed we would be at negative 26 there. And right here, the shift is still negative 6, so this would in fact be negative 66 decibels. We can get a more precise body plot using MATLAB, so I wouldn't worry about this negative 3 dBs here and there. Uh, the, the overall shape is sufficient. Now let's look at the phase. For the phase, we have two poles, two real poles. Each of them will add negative 90 degrees to the phase once we pass their cutoff frequencies. And starting with this one at 10, the phase is 0 up to 10 and then becomes negative 90 degrees the other pole at 100 the phase is also zero up to the cutoff frequency which is 100 and then we'll go down to negative 90 degrees if you now add these two up we are basically going from See if I can find a different color here. We are going from 0 to negative 90 and negative 90 to negative 180. And you can now interpolate this curve to find the final shape, but it should be something like this. Passing by negative 45 degrees at 10 and passing by negative 135 degrees 
at 10 to the power of 2. It is halfway here is 45 degrees. Negative 90 plus 45 is negative 90 minus 45 is negative 135. So this is now the overall shape. So now let's clean this up a little bit because there's too much going on. And let's redo this in a simpler way. But the idea again is to have the same as in as for the magnitude, we have the phase for each individual pole and then or zero or whatever is on the body plot. And then we add everything up. But you can do this in just one go. Let's find a faster way to do this. Instead of adding everything up, let's just do this in one go. It's starting now looking directly at function g of s. If the frequency is very low, we haven't reached any cutoff frequency yet. If you are at 10 to the power of zero, we are to the left of any cutoff frequency. The poles are not having an effect on the body plot yet. So the frequency, so the phase is zero. And the phase is zero up to the point where we get the first cutoff frequency at 10. At 10, now that pole will start to act and will make the frequency go down by 90 degrees. And that will stay at 90 degrees until the next cutoff frequency. Once we pass 100 radians per second, there is another pole there. And this pole will add an additional negative 90 degrees. So now the frequency goes, and the phase goes down by another 90 degrees. It goes from 0 to negative 90 to negative 180. And the overall phase is simply the interpolation of this curve. Like that. Passing by negative 45. Passing by negative 135 here. Interesting. This is a lot easier. Can we do the same here? Can we, instead of just adding everything up, can we just do that in one go? Yes. Let's do that as well as a, alter as a alternative method. Okay, let's now apply the same idea to the magnitude. If you are to the left of any cutoff frequencies, the only thing acting on the body plot is the constant gain 1, because you haven't reached any cutoff frequency yet. At very low frequencies, we are far from 10 and from 100, the only thing acting is 1. 20 log of 1 is 0. So the body plot is a zero until we reach our first cutoff frequency. The first cutoff frequency is 10 radians per second right here. Now past 10 radians per second, the slope of the body plot that was zero here becomes negative 20 decibels per decade. So if at 10 we are at zero, at 100 we should be at negative 20 decibels per decade. The slope is negative 20 dB per decade. If you kept going at 1000, we would be at negative 40. The problem is now we encounter a second cutoff frequency at 100 radians per second. So the slope now changes from negative 20 to negative 40 dB. And when we go from 100 to 1000, this needs to go down by, by 40 dB. We are at negative 20, we should be at negative 60. And this slope is now negative 40 dB per decade. I'm again neglecting that a negative 3 dB on each cutoff frequency for now. So we see here we go by a factor of 10, and this goes down by a factor of 20. This happens, this is 20, because you only have one pole acting at this point. If you now pass another, po an another pole, now this has to go down by 40 every time we increase the frequency by 10. So if you go by a factor of 10 in the frequency, this needs to go down by 40 decibels per decade. So here we have, here we had 0, 0 minus 20 is 20, negative 20 dB. Negative 20 minus 40 is negative 60 dB. And this is another way to think about the body plot without drawing all uh, individual curves and then adding everything up. That can be a bit complicated when you have more complex transfer functions. If for now you are more comfortable with this first approach where you have individual curves and then you add everything up because of this property of log functions, that is perfectly fine. But slowly, we are going to just use the second approach where we just do the body plot in one go. That makes a lot more sense when you have complex functions.